So let's say you came home from work or you let your dogs out at night. I say I'm talking about nighttime mostly just because this always happens to me at night. Um, but your dogs kind of get into a little scruffle with a skunk. The skunk may win and your dogs may get sprayed. So what are you going to do? There's so many wives tales out there that talk about tomato soup, tomato paste, all kinds of crazy things that don't actually work and they're just making your dog suffer. So I have a very fail proof recipe I'm going to share with you while I bathe my dog so we can get rid of that smell. So when your dog gets sprayed by a skunk, primarily it's usually in the face which can be very painful for them. So you really just want to try to get that off as soon as possible. However, the oils seep in and it starts burning the skin. So you need three ingredients. Your little speckled tongue. Three ingredients to help get this off. Nope, sit my girl. Sit my beautiful girl. Okay, so what happens is usually I get a, a little bowl and you're gonna need about a quart of hydrogen peroxide. It needs to be the 3%. You're gonna need about a quarter cup of um, baking soda and a few drops of your, just your normal dish soap. And then you're gonna kinda mix it together and put it on and I'll kinda show you how it goes. Now, I will tell you, you cannot make this up ahead of time and keep it on hand because the combination of these is going to cause an explosion. So that's not something we can do. But let's see what we can do now with her. Okay, big girl. So, I'm going to start with your peroxide. Just for you. And then, we're going to do your baking soda. Nope. I'm going to do your dish soap, and then I'm going to turn your water on. You definitely want to make sure that your water is not cold, but not too hot. And then you're going to, once it gets warmed up a little bit, you're going to add, uh, some water to your mixture so that you have a nice full dish to work with. Now as you can see this is suddenly not pretty good but I need it to kind of let itself work so in the meantime I'm going to get her wet. take my hand and kind of stir it together. The reason you don't want to use any peroxide that's more than 3% is because it's too rough on your dog's fur and they can actually bleach the fur out, which you don't want to do. a sensitive area for them but it's definitely something that has to get done um, and sometimes if they get like a direct hit you might have to do it twice but 
usually once is enough. Uh, it just depends on how good your dogs get it. Now I should let you know my dog actually did not get sprayed tonight, but we have a skunk that I just ran into in the driveway. So I just, it's not uncommon, so I figured, you know what? This would be as good as time as any. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to be so close to her face. <laughs> And then just make sure that you get everything really rubbed out good. And then when it's done, if it, it, it may have some residual for a little while, and that's totally okay. Um, you're not going to expect it to be spick and span, never even have an inkling of it. Um, but this is going to be pretty close. So if for some reason you did it one time or even twice and you felt like, you know, that's good enough, and you wanted to, you could always do another rinse. Um, and, you know, even use, there is some pet friendly um, essential oils. And actually I'll put uh, one in the link below. I'll put links for everything just in case. You did good girl by yourself. You did good girl. You did a good girl. I love you. So there you have it. All That's all you have to do is those three ingredients and just get your dog as, uh, cleaned up as soon as possible really because it really does, uh, it burns them and it hurts them. So you'll want to just make sure you can get that done right away. You want to drink? And then uh, they should be good to go in a little more comfort after that. I typically will put my dog in a safe place, either a room or if you have a kennel with a towel down. Because after that, between getting sprayed and then having a bath, they just need some calm space where they can, uh, you know, kind of dry off and relax for a bit. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't done so already, I ask that you please subscribe to our channel and have a great day. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.